and Stuck at Home. Hey, Stuckers. Welcome to today's challenge, which is called Coordinate Conundrums. Because I'm all about the coordinates. And I'm a conundrum, which apparently means a puzzle that you have to think about. Yes. <laughs> now, our coordinate conundrum today, Sal, is to imagine that I've got a map here and, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm wanting to explain to you about a particular point on my map and, and I like say... Like where the treasure is on your map? Exactly like that. And I say, well, it's it's in the top part and a little bit over to the right of the map. Mm, and It's not very specific, is it? It's not. And that was a problem. So people have developed a system called coordinates. And we've gone with the letters along the bottom axis and numbers along the side axis. So we can now use those to join together to find a particular square on our map. So yeah. if I say B3, we go up column B and across from 3 until we get to where B3. they meet. All right, so if I said Kim, the treasure is at G7. Oh, yep. seven. G7. Seven. I find the treasure. So we've got three challenges today for our coordinate conundrum. So for level one, I have put 15 counters onto my game board. I have to make sure that Sal can't see my counters. So she's hiding at the moment. Um, so I've got my 15 counters on here ready to go. Now I'm gonna go and hide my eyes so that you can see what Sal has set up on her board. Here's my game board. This is where I have hidden my treasure. So hopefully Kim won't guess my coordinates before I can guess five of hers. Let's play. Okay, Sal, have you got a treasure on A9? No, I don't. You're good. Do you have a treasure on B3? No. Nope. Okay. Sal, do you have a treasure on A7? <gasps> yes, I do. Woohoo! Pass it over. Yeah, one to me. Okay, you'll go, Sal. Do you have a treasure on C10? Nope. Do you have a treasure on C8? Nope. Okay. Do you have a treasure on A1? A1. Oh, I do, Sal. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do you have a treasure on E8? Yes. Yay, I've got five. Ah, good on you. I'm the winner. That was a lot of guessing. Well done, Kim. Good way to learn the coordinate sort of plan though, isn't it? it so is. I always say the letter and then the number. Um, mm. It was actually close. You couldn't see Sal's board, but she had four and I had five to, to be the winner. A nearly one, but yeah. Well done. Now we used 15 counters, but if you've got more than that, it's it's a lot of fun if you can maybe even 20, 30 even. You know, you, you use can use as many as you want. Yeah. Mm. So how about level two, Sal? Level two. You only have one treasure hidden Ooh. this time. Same thing, the person you're playing with can't see your game board or where you've put your treasure. And they can ask you questions. You can only answer yes or no. Ah, okay, hmm. let's give it a go. All right. So I've put my treasure, my little Kimmy doll, onto G8, and Sal's got hers hidden over there. Now I've got some counters here sitting beside my board so that when I ask Sal questions about where her treasure is hidden, I can use these to eliminate some of the ones that I know are out of the picture. So let's have a go. Sal, is your treasure in row five? No. Okay. So I could, I could just put one on the five there and I know that it's not gonna be in this row here at all. Your turn, Sal. Kim, is yours in column J? Column J. No, Sal. Sal, is yours in a row that's an odd number? No. Oh, so now I can cross out all the odd number rows. That's got rid of half the board. Okay. Kim, is yours in... Yeah. A letter that only has straight lines, oh. no round bits. No. Okay. Good question. Thank you. And is yours in a, a column with a vowel? No. It's not a vowel. Kim, is yours 
in a row that is an even number? Yes. Okay. So is yours in row four? Yes. Ooh, okay. So we're down to the one row that it's in. Okay. Kim, is yours in G1? Nope. So is yours in C4? Yes. Ah, you found the I treasure. Found the treasure. <laughs> Level three, Sal. We're going to step this up with a fun game like Battleship. But we're going to call it Battle Peg because <laughs> we're going to position on our board some pegs. So if we go straight up and down the way ours is set up, it takes up four of our squares. So I can put them across uh, vertically or horizontally, but I can also put them diagonally and it only takes up three squares. So they're a bit harder to hit. Sal's going to put six battle pegs on her board hidden away from me behind a screen and I have to use the coordinates to fire missiles and see if I can hit the battle pegs. Yeah. Once I've sunk two of your battle pegs, Sal, I count how many shots I've had all together mm -hmm. and then we'll swap jobs. Then I get to guess Yeah. to try to sink your battle pegs. Yeah, now what we're going to do mm. is we're going to use some of our counters again just to remind the person who's guessing where they've already guessed because it's really hard to remember otherwise. And you have to count them at the end anyway. That is true. But you could use again little bits of Lego, pasta, anything you can find that's little that you can fit on the square. Let's go to battle. So first up Sal, I'm going to go H4. Miss. Miss. Okay, let's try D6. Hit. Oh, D6 is a hit. Now I know that it's either going to be four across or four up and down or three diagonally, so I've got to see if I can find the whole ship. How about C6? C6. Miss. Oh, how about, how about E6? E6. Miss. Um, what about D7? D7 is a miss. Oh, is this one of those diagonal ones? <laughs> what about C7? Hit. Yay. Now, is that a whole battleship? It is. Hand it over. There you go. One battleship gone. Righty, I'm going to stay up there, so what about G6? Miss. What about G7? Hit. Ooh. Now, could this be diagonal as well? What about... What about G8? Miss. Oh. What about H7? Hit. Ooh. H, sorry, I7? Hit. J7? Hit. Woohoo! Okay, so to get two of Sal's battleships, it took me two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. You ready for your go, Sal? I am. Only be H10. Hit. All right. Well done. All right. Now I count how many hits. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What were you? No, all together how many counters? Fourteen. Oh, including 16, that. Oh. Eighteen, nineteen, I think. And what'd you get? I got fourteen. Oh, one, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Kim. Sal. I sunk your battle pegs. You did, you did. Uh, that's good fun, hey? It was. Good way to use coordinates to mm. turn it into a game. And it's lots of fun if you've got someone that you can play that with. Thanks for joining us today for our challenge. And Stuckers, we know you're stuck at home, but your family is stuck with you. So perhaps help out around the house by pegging the clothes oh, on the line nice. or getting them in from the line. Lovely. See you, See you stuckers. later, Stuckers. I'm sure that the coordinates told me that the treasure was in here. So, where's the treasure? Where's my cat food? It's not in here. Hmm, I must have the coordinates wrong. I'll have to try again. See you later, stuckers. So, Sal, level three is a bit of a step up. <laughs> I don't care if you're cold, Kim. You've got to have your stuckers shirt on. Ooh. Um, J2? Did you just move yours? <laughs> right. Thanks.
Thanks for joining us today for our Santa Hey. Thank you.